RT reporter Liz Wall has a big decision to make. Luckily the Navran model can help her make a decision. Ethically. My name is Liz Wall and I am the reporter for RT. Here is my problem. RT is an international news organization funded by the Russian government. I have been working for this network for two years, but lately I have grown more and more uncomfortable with the idea of working for a network that spews propaganda. Working for this station conflicts with my personal life because my family are refugees that escaped communist Russian oppression. Also, I am a journalist and I swore to be transparent in my reporting that includes this Crimea conflict. I just don't know what to do. That's a tough one. What should Liz do? Well, I have a few options for what I could do. I could quit on air during the show. I could just submit a letter of resignation to my producers and just leave quietly. I could also just continue working for RT and suck it up. Those are very different options. What would those options look like? Let's see. If I quit on air, I would be going against company policy. Quitting on air is a form of disrupting the broadcast and it goes against RT company policy. Well, nothing in the law says that quitting on air is illegal. It's protected by the Second Amendment so I wouldn't be jailed for it. The universal values of journalists according to the Society of Professional Journalists requires me to be independent and transparent. If I quit on air, I would be acting independently from from RT and by association the Russian government. I would also be transparent to the public. Quitting on air would satisfy my definition of what is right being that I am a descendant of refugees from a tyrannical Russian government, and a journalist against state-funded propaganda. A formal letter of resignation is the professional standard and policy for leaving a job. There is no law against giving my employer a two weeks notice and a formal resignation. It minimizes harm, career and self, which is required by the Society of Professional Journalists Code of Ethics. Also it is the norm. By formally resigning, I would be serving my conscience right by removing myself from an organization that is not operating journalistically. I would also leave with my career intact but it doesn't bring RT's corruption to light. RT policies would not object to me continuing to work here as long as I don't voice any opposition and just do my job. Again, there is nothing illegal about working at my job, as it is a legal occupation. If I stay, I wouldn't be acting independently as a journalist, since my reporting will continue to be controlled by the Russian government. I would also not be acting transparently and revealing the biases in my reporting. If I stay, then I keep my job but I lose my self-integrity. So what's it gonna be Lizzie? Well, I'm going into work tomorrow and at toward the end of the broadcast, I'll just quit right there on air. Personally I cannot be part of network funded by the Russian government that whitewashes the actions of Putin. I'm proud to be an American and believe in disseminating the truth and that is why, after this newscast, I'm resigning. So. You chose the first option and quit on air. Why did you choose this route? So you are an American, not a Russian, uh, but you were working for a Russian station. Now, some people have said, you know, you could have quit, write a nice letter, send an email. You didn't have to do it live on television. They said that's self-promotion. Well, you, you know, think? I could have quit. I could have sent an I, I could have sent an email. But you know what, Barbara? If I did that, nobody would have known. We wouldn't be talking about this right now. The world wouldn't know what the station is about. And I ethically, morally, I felt like I had to say the truth. When you took the job, girl, what did you expect? Yeah. Well, mm. when, when they uh, they came to me, they approached me. They offered me the job, and what they told me that this would be an opportunity to tell stories that the mainstream media ignores. Okay. And yes, I knew that it was funded by the Russian government, but there's a lot of news outlets that are funded wow. by a government in one way or another. You BBC, see. NPR, Al Jazeera, and they're looked at as respectable news outlets. That's when I took the job at the time. As far as I knew, the Cold War was over. And as we know, today is very yeah. different. Yeah. Did, 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 so then at what point did you say, okay, I'm kind of have a feeling that this is right. not yeah. right? Well, in light of current events, I could see how the network was being used as a propaganda machine to promote mm. Putin's foreign policy. Okay. And everybody, so that's what kind of... Yes, 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 right yeah. now, right now. And yeah. everybody's saying two years, two years. But it's like, you know, in an abusive relationship and the woman finally leaves, do you blame her for getting in the relationship no. in the first yeah. place? And Look at this 
young woman. She is smart. She works hard. <laughs> she does her homework, and she's looking for a job, right? <laughs> okay. She's we great. thank you, Liz Wall, for coming on and, and telling so us your story. We appreciate it. Well, all righty then, Lizzie.